All right. So today, what we are going to do, ladies and gentle people, we're going to be stalking people on KGS because they provide great material for how to improve our own games. And I recommend you guys do this too. If you're looking to try to improve, go join a game and don't be like, okay, I, I need to learn from this game. What moves, what moves can I pick up? Uh, let's see, how, are, how is he playing? What, what your stack is he playing? Uh, what's his opening theory like? Look for their mistakes. They're amateurs. They're playing bad moves. Find them. That way you get, you get, you get in the head looking for them in your own games. Progressing through Amateurville is a question of finding out why your opponent sucks. At least to me, that's what it's like. So let's go find out how some of these players that are currently playing are maybe playing moves that aren't the best. And we're going to concentrate solely on mid-game today. So we have two random uh, 9 and 10 cues over here. We're going to look at, at uh, mid-game. We don't care about... Holy jumping jackasses. All right, we don't care about opening, and it's a good thing that we don't. Let's get... All right, here. We have... However this board came to be, we've got an interesting situation here. Where we're now out of endgame. Or out of endgame. Oh my god. I can't talk today at all. We're out of opening, sorry. And we have to decide what's large. The question is, what's large? For white, we identify, do we have any weak groups? Yeah. This one's a problem. This one's a problem. Does black have any weak groups? Not really. There's a few things that could be better. Like these three stones. They're susceptible to approach. They could be better. This. A little bit weak in here, but it's going to be fine. It could be better, though, with a connection or so. So we have identified two things that are going not so well for um, for uh, for black. We see one that's not going well for white. So he should be thinking about, all right, I'm going to just like make a base here or even do this. I'd be fine with that too because we've kind of got me eye in that situation. We could attack this, right? Make him kind of over-concentrated. Get a nice little surround on here. Maybe start building up. Or, if we play here, and he defends, well then we can go back and look at this too, because there was the cutting point that we mentioned that he had to kind of like shore up there as well. So as long as we have those two things, and we have the one, we can absolutely go ahead and defend ourselves, because that takes care of us. He can't do both at the same time. We'll get one or the other. So we're pretty happy about this. Let's see what white does. White instead creates a two... Pro now he's got a problem on his hands. Because now he's got two problems as well as black. So who knows what happens here. Should start with the cappy cappies. Because everything's going to be determined by how this group gets stronger. And how we lean on this group. Okay, he's shoring himself up. White should, you know, be honest, do the same thing, or not. Black's taking care of himself. I like it. Little bit too much, but I like it. Now this right here is just puppy go. He's completely alive in the corner. There's really nothing we can do here that'll kill this, right? I mean, where do we throw in his white to try to kill this? We can't. So since we're alive here, he had Sente. But I think because white played here, black played locally too. And you don't want to play Puppy Goat. Don't want to just like follow your opponent around the board. 
because they played somewhere like oh my god my opponent's gonna play here maybe i need to defend myself or my opponent plays i don't know here maybe i'm gonna defend myself as well right that kind of thing where we're just kind of following our opponent around locally regardless of the value of the move that's usually referred to as puppy goat we don't want to do it we want to be our own master we don't follow on our, we don't want to follow around him or her or whatever Mm, all right, break this up I agree with. Though fundamentally speaking, since this is all fine, we are looking for those large moves again. And you know what? My eye is coming back to here. This kind of seems like a bit of a large move maybe, right? And then maybe we can cut that stone off. Just kind of like chilling out in the middle. Or maybe we can take the last corner and be nice and solid. All these are really good moves. This is just kind of a, mm, I don't really want you to get anything in here kind of move. I like that he defended himself. I don't like that he defended here, though. That's what that move was about, right? We made certain that that's not going to be a problem. But he defended anyway. Not so good. Not really seeing where those larger moves on the board are. Same thing. Kind of going back and forth with the same kind of problem. So let's advance a couple of moves into, let's say, 120. Alright, however we got here, we're now at 120. We're kind of entering end games. So we should be thinking about where the forcer moves are. Like, uh, A3, for example, is going to be kind of big. Um, this kind of thing for black is going to be kind of big. The Hane here is going to be forcing. P19 is going to be kind of nice. Lightly poking it here is going to be kind of nice. Let's see if they do. Not really poking, and it's quite the opposite, in fact. We're kind of inviting our opponent to take it while we get, like, one extra point. Not very large. That was a mistake. Again, value, man. Value. B2 is going to be... Rarely is B2 going to be a little larger. It could be a larger move. Usually the Hane is going to be better because it's going to be Sente. I suppose on this corner it's the same. More or less. Give me one extra point. No, I guess technically it's going to be both. It's going to be the same thing, right? We play here, and if they ignore... Same result. That's not bad, but we could have played here into this because he can't do anything here that's better that's kind of large-ish but it's gote do they sente moves first we kind of have him down in here maybe go after that we can get this one in for free because the clamp kills so there's that but again, always comes back down to value. Let's raise the rate. Let's raise uh, stuff a bit and see if this is a trend that continues. We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. This is a 5 6 Q game. Do 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 Ooh, this is such a great show. Oh, this is such a great pickup. Look at this. We're in mid game, and it's Black's turn. This question is White's last move. Is it Sente? Is it Sente? No, he turns here. We're still alive in the corner. So we can take a larger point for ourselves. He can play here, and we're still fine because you can't actually kill this. So we're good. 
So find out where those larger points are and take them. That is not a larger point. That lets your opponent play here. And at that point, we done screwed up. We screwed up too much. This is a big thing that we didn't defend. Again, same thing. He's got connection under right now or a defense in the corner, but he defended, so it's small. This is pretty small. This is this is this is pretty small. Okay, this we can defend. He's trying to attack, he's trying to kill. He should be thinking about trying to defend himself first. He's already getting behind. He needs to deal with this. We need oh, look at him try to kill. Oh, look at him try to kill. Okay, now he defends. Okay, okay. Um, nope, no need to do that. We can literally just connect over if he wants to do something like this. Alright, he's just gonna live. That's fine. He's, he's alive-ish. Careful. Slightly better shape. Worst he can do. Need to extend again and again. Ooh, no. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go with no on that one. Well... Alright, I guess it's Sente. No reason for that. Small. Don't, don't take. Took. Okay. Um, what's the problem? Again, Gote! They're both playing like so Gote moves because they're just trying to kill each other. Regardless if they actually can do it, they're trying to kill each other. Because like this right here, for example, it doesn't matter. We can play a biggie point. Because if we play here, we're alive. If we plays here, we're alive. This can't connect. So we're fine. So we were fine here. So we're fine here. We're fine here. We're fine here. That's small. Like, over and over and over again. This entire sequence right here, we're just trying to kill. Despite the fact that we actually can, despite the fact where the large points are, Black's only goal in life right now is to not let this group here be attacked. That's the only thing he needs to do right now. Is just don't let this be attacked. Rip. You see how torn apart he's getting now? Because he's trying to like juggle everything. It's like, oh, I'm trying to defend this group. I'm trying to defend my corner. And I don't want to be surrounded. But now I've got a weak group. Oh, pain. And in the end, we wound up giving up our corner. You can now stick a fork in black. He's done. He's not going to die. But something like this is going to be Gote, And then white's just going to be like... Something in there to make the, make the territories. Because now he's got territories here. He's got territories here. A little bit in here. And to go with this? That's too good. That's just too good. So who gets, to, who gets to play it first? First person who sees it. No, we can't do this. I know you want to save it. I know, I know. I know you want to save it, but you just can't. We're going to play here instead. And then we're going to come out. And then we're going to resign the game. And then we're going to play again. We're going to be happy. All right, that's game over, GG. And again, it's because we did all of this stuff and we did all of this stuff and not just like a lot of this stuff. 
defend yourself and then attack. Like, is your opponent weak? Are you weak? Are there any large moves on the board? We can defend ourselves and figure out which one's still there. I want to see another 5Q game and see if they're all doing that kind of thing. It's an end, in mid game. Don't really care. 9, 20, 30. 30 was into the game. All right. What's what's large here? Uh, 30 moves into the game. What's large? We've got... Uh, groups. What are weak? We're weak in the middle. Well, are we really weak? We got... I guess we kind of have shape. You know, I would play one more move to come out. For two reasons. One, it lets us be nice and strong. And we always want to be strong, right? So that's cool. Another reason, though... Ain't that sneaky? Ain't that sneaky? It's really, really cool when your defensive moves work well with your expansion. We can expand this area while we're defending. We've got two reasons to defend here, which is more, which is more, one more reason than we need. We're weak, so we're going to defend, and we can expand, so we're going to defend. Two awesome reasons to defend, so we're just going to defend. Who cares, who cares what white does? White can play here. This is not territory. We can play here. We could even play here. We can play here, into here. We can play here, into here, into here, into there. Into here. I mean, we could do whatever we want. You get the idea, right? We have plenty of ways that we can come in here, so we don't have to fear white suddenly developing, right? All right, let's see what white actually does. What does black actually do? He defends himself in like a little bit of a slower way. Um, I like B. No, I like this one a little bit better because it threatens this move and it threatens this move, and this move is real. Awesome. This is going to force your opponent to do things he don't want to do. Like, let you live locally so he doesn't die here in vain. Okay, a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying, but it's fine. Is that Sente? No, but we can grow it, so we're going to respond. No! There is no cut here. Mistake. And that mistake might cost you a surround. Alright, that's better. That's okay. No. We play this one. Because there's nothing there. This might allow for weird Atari and invasionary things, so we don't play it. Enclosure. Enclosure. Enclosure to go with the extension. Large moves. If you play here, and your opponent plays here, my lack of caring will show through immediately. Let's let him live, not even go to Ko. Just let him live. Because now he can't get a two-space extension no matter how he plays. Which means... We can cap. Are we capping to kill? No. There, that's alive, right? And you can kind of see, just by playing stupid moves in the middle, we can grow. So we don't even care at that point. Go into our corner. We got way more things that we can do. Lots of large things. So if your response to here is to go here, it's good for black. And that's what, he's, that's what black is saying. Black is saying, if I don't defend here, my next move might be my opponent going into the corner. 
but that's good for us. We don't even care. I mean, you might as well kick. At least that way, I don't know, you keep your corner or something, I don't know. This just potentially loses it later on. Could lose a corner later on here. Good, good, good. Ooh, that hurts. Feeling that one in the morning. Instead, I would rather play here. Because if we play here, what if our opponent plays here? Do we defend again? Who got the better end of that deal? Who got the better end of that deal? Now, I know what you're saying. If we play here and he plays here, aren't we in trouble? Are we really? All your opponent does now is runs away. Running group, right? That's it. It's just a running group. And now, since we approached, suddenly, there are things we can do. Wasn't that sneaky? We can play here for the same thing. Ugh. Darn, can't kill. Uh, what else could we do? Easy peasy. Can't we kill? We don't have to kill. We could try to kill, but I don't know about that. Kind of getting a little nervous for our corner. It's dangerous. There's a lot of Aji there. A lot of Aji there. Where do I play? Why well, play it over there? Okay. Protect yourself first. This is a group that's in trouble because we've got not completely defined shape here yet. And if we were going to play again here, we would play again with the attachment to invade this area because he didn't defend. This is a move that's like, okay, you defend, and I'm going to back off now. But you didn't defend. Middle's most important. Oof. Middle, middle, middle. Middle, middle, middle. Okay, there we go. Thank God. Because at any point, White could have played there for himself. So we were doing things down the lower left before we took care of our weak group. Weak groups have to take priority. They must absolutely 100% take priority. All right, so here we've got Chinese, Kobayashi, we don't really care. Let's go 30 moves into the game. Blam. All right, what do we have here? Got growth in the middle, which is nice. So black should be like, I'm happy to grow. Play here. Not bad, not bad. I need to clone the board though. Give me a minute. Sorry about that. Cloned. There we go. There we don't go. I lied. I'm a liar. There we go. So we played here. The jump out is okay. The double honey, I am not so sure about, but I like they defended. Jealousy. Rank jealousy. You smell how jealous black is of white right now? If we play here, this area has to be reduced. If white responds, 
we can as well. Or we could take something like this and really go double down on all of the territory that's there. Right? So largest point, the huge bottom right area that we could develop or this tiny area right here that we're going to get jealous over. Admittedly, this is kind of a big move. Because this isn't just alive yet. Almost is. Almost, but not quite. I mean, there are ways for it to be alive. But it's really tiny. Look at what getting in the middle. Hmm. Yep, you see? We could have cut all of that off. None of that had to be there. But we played the smaller move and not the larger move, so now we're in trouble. We were jealous of this area here, which we really didn't even get into very well just yet. And solidified a little bit of this in exchange for that huge little swath there, right? Same thing. This is a big fourth of the board. We don't really need to play the 3-3 the three, three yet. Are we certain of that? Yes. If our opponent plays a 3-3 three, three now, then we just connect it all. Not bad, not bad. All right, so we have one Don versus one Don game. Still don't care about their opening. 30 moves in. I'll take move back. All right. 30 moves in, what's large? What's large? Well, White's turn. Ask yourself the questions. Do we have weak groups? You damn skippy, we got a weak group. So we jump it. Sorry, I didn't clone it. I can't click. I didn't click. I didn't clone. Ah, we must clone quickly. Clone the game. Um, that didn't work. There we go. All right. So go back in. All right, we're good. So this is an attack move. When this this is actually strengthening the attack against this dude. That is not a good move for Madon. You see what he's doing? Look how scared he got. Where's the threat? Is this the threat? That is pretty threatening, but let's change the order of these moves a bit. Let's change this to here. Suddenly, suddenly this isn't quite so threatening anymore now, is it? We're out. Hmm. Let's change up again. What if we threaten to go through and then come out? Huh. Well, now. Suddenly. Nah, that one I don't like so much. Either way, we're pretty okay here. In fact, we could be pretty okay here if we did this immediately. You see that? Let's 
See how we're fine by jumping out? Can't really be taken advantage of, can we? Mm, no, I'll take this one. Looks like we're fine. Looks like we're fine. Didn't assess our shape? No! We don't force the connection. If we connect now, then white has to think about this for the rest of the game. So this is bad. This means that he got to play this move in Sente with no Aji remaining. Bad exchange for black. Went too far with it. Yup. 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 Like, if he plays here and then connects, white's not going to play that move, is he? Oops. Got your stones. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. The profit he just obtained was gone with the death of those stones. All right. Now, new question. Was that even the largest move on the board? Or was there a larger one? The answer, there's a larger one. Now that we're so strong here, what if we played away and black comes out? Don't you see that now we need two stones at the same time? So the left side, not only is it, um, Uh, Gote, but it's also small because we have two urgent moves we need to play. We need to play one and two. Because keep in mind, mm, yeah, keep in mind, both of these are very, very big. Threaten to surround. Now, does black realize that? Black can do this two ways. Black could say, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm just going to approach here now to build. That would be good. Or he could say, it's fine. I'm just going to calmly divide. He did none of these moves, apparently. He could also say, my opponent didn't jump out. I'm going to cap. Okay, he did none of those three moves. Um... He couldn't close? Nope. He could make Chinese? Nope. I have no idea where his next move is. He played none of the large points. Nope, not in G10. But you can see where all these large moves are, right? Large move, jumpu outu. Large move, ataku taku. Large move, kapu kapu. Large move, approachu prochu. And enclosure, closure. Or jump outu outu. These are the only moves that make sense in my head right now. Which one did he play? Okay, he kind of got the jump out one, but did we have to jump out? Like, let's say we played, I don't know, it's a stupid idea, but let's say we played four. Oh no, our opponent jumped out. I guess we have to respond. Yoo-hoo. Oh, miss the stones. I think we got something we can do up in here. Yes, we do. We have no problem. Is he going to do a two-space? Yeah, I'm back. I can threaten us around. We're good. Daddy's playing another Gote move. So check this out. Check it out. Check it out. This is what actually happened to Black in, in the in the mid game. He could have left this disconnected to attack. Instead, he pushed it and gave himself Gote. White gave him Sente again, and. Black then decided not to play a large move with it, 
he took Gote again. So Gote into Gote. All right, now we got it. Now we got it. Now we got it. But that move didn't have to be there. That move could have been there. We could have never been able to play that move in the entire game because we played Gote moves. Because we have Gote moves, we could we might have never been able to play that move. That's why we always have to evaluate: Is this worth responding to? No, no, it wasn't. All right. All right. Sure. Right. So we're currently trying to separate our opponent because he's got weak groups. None of that includes the idea that we're going to go into the corner and fight over four points. He's terrified. He's way terrified. Like, we didn't jump out here, dude. Dude needs to jump. You know what? I would have even accepted another jump here. Not terrible, but much bigger than this. No one, only a Q would answer that move. C told you. Whew. Yup. Once again, no longer the chance to attack. Too little. Too li Ooh. Ooh, getting in some counter punches. All right. Do it. No. No. No, 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 no. Oh, ain't that a cutie? I'm wondering if we can play here, cause this doesn't seem to work. Do 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 So we can actually cut through this. Totally cut through this. Our opponent is still weak. Two space can be cut. So you should pay attention, take a couple of minutes, make sure that, uh, you know, nothing's really there before you make them stronger than her. Okay, that is no good. That is no bueno. I would rather play something like this to ensure my group is never attacked ever again. Because maybe... Maybe I can't cut it right now. Maybe I can't cut it right now. But you know, uh, I mean, uh, what if this was the only thing you could do here in this game? Would you ever really, 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 really want this to be attacked ever again? Not really, right? Not when you can just like take an extra move here just to make certain. Poor black, poor black. He tried so hard, but in the end, it didn't even matter. I heard he fought so hard too. All right, so one thing that I'm noticing is white's almost completely dead. 
I'm also noticing this move that attempts to get an eye for white is sente to poke out for black. That's a good thing to notice, don't you think? It's like, ha ha! Huh? Eh? Ha ha! Huh? Eh? And then all this is done. So he's not going to do that. You can be like, ha ha! And then he's going to play there. And then we can just keep extending out and doing whatever the frack we want. So it looks like someone's about to die. Yep, yeah, see? Always one move behind. They're not really looking at where the sente moves are, are they? The entire game, it's like, I don't know, man, that's too small. Maybe you shouldn't play in there. But he did. We're like, dude, you could do this one in Sente, but he didn't. And now this group that probably ought to be dead right now is probably going to live. It's probably going to live. Mm, it's probably going to live. I would take this just to make sure there's no ambiguity of what the hell is going on back in here. Oh, yeah. Mm, bow, wow. See, he finally got an eye, but imagine that. Whoa, no, 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 don't imagine that. Don't, don't imagine that. Imagine this. If that stone had been on the field, he'd be dead. White, this is a game, white should lose if black had poked it. That's all he had to do. All he had to do was just poke that eye. And that's saying a lot. That's after slow moves like this, slow moves like this. But because white didn't defend himself, he's like, you know what, I'm up in territory. Um, so I, I'm just gonna take my sente and not defend my middle group. You know, the thing that white, that black has to attack in order to come back into this game. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack, I'm not gonna defend that. The weakest thing on the board. We're not defending that. We're just gonna keep trying to take more for ourselves. That leaves Aji. That lets our opponent come back into the game. Let's look at another one done. By the way, all right, here we go. So we've got Don versus Don. One Don versus one Don. Looking for the small, 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 small moves. Alrighty then. We're 20 moves in. Wait, did we say 20 or 30? Was it 30 moves? I think it was 30 moves. There we go. Holy jumping crackers. You don't do that ever. Let's look at where White made a boo boo. White is trying to kill. White has no reason to kill. There's no reason to kill here. We are all friends we are. Yes, we are. What else could we do? We could also cut here, by the way. That ends the game pretty quick, don't you think? What are we going to do, Atari down? Seems like a bad idea. Atari over? Resign game? I mean, you, that's, that's terrible. This is a terrible result. On no planet is as good. But instead of just of paying attention to weak points, instead of just trying to surround, we are 
trying to kill. I will murder my opponent if it's the last thing I do. Right? All right. We need to reduce our opponent now because we done lost all of our territory. Because we didn't want to just surround. No, 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 no. We wanted to kill him. Time to reduce. Okay. No. I reiterate, if we respond to this, we're a Q. If we respond to that right now, we're a Q player. Don't do it. Excellent. But I wouldn't play there either. I would be like, uh... Eh. We're gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna expand into here now. You can have my corner. I actually don't care. Alright, see you there. Hello, Morganall. Ooh boy. Instead he's trying a deep, crazy invasion rather than something light. He could go into here. He could have gone into here, into here. Instead he's doing this And then cross-cutting. I guess he doesn't really know what he's doing. But we could extend up and defend our stone. We group. Keep it separated. <gasps> Ooh, bad. We play here and our opponent has to jump out again and we jump out again and if he plays here we're just going to cut him off and eat his face. That would have been better. Bit of an overplay. Small overplay, but a bit of an overplay. And again, simple defense. It, whoops. Real, real passive defensive measures. Take. Good boy. So this area was way reduced. Way too reduced, given what the stupidity of this move. All we had to do is just not. Just just don't. As long as we just don't, then we aren't. I'm laying that that sick wisdom on you now. As long as we don't, we just aren't. This is all white can do right now. I lied. That's all white can do right now. That's the glorious invasion. That's going to wind up ending and, and, and That's probably going to wind up uh, ending the game. No lie. How do we even begin? Where do we play? Is this the goal? This goal is terrible. Instead, what he went what he did wrong here is he's kind of he's kind of going and not strengthening the weakest group that he had. The corner was already strong, but he played in a way that didn't strengthen his weakest group, which allowed him to get forcey moves in and then escape. And then same thing here. We're not going to just play to divide and conquer. Like we could actually play a move like this to threaten to come out and then eat the stone. We could gobble all that up. But said we're defending, we're not counterattacking, we're just trying to just trying to hold on to our little points. Oh my dear god, that was terrible. That's actually pretty good for uh, 
pretty good for black. Unfortunately, it's also pretty good for white. Because we could attack and attack these two stones, but okay. Okay. Question now, though, is did white have to do that? Did white have to do that? You know what? Don't think so. This was reduced. Can reduce whatever we want. We can just, you know, build a bit. Be fine. No need to cut our groups apart. Hmm. I spy two weak groups. Never mind. He defended the strongest one instead of separating them. You can see that the that the Dons, one Don versus one Don, they're making really, really bad decisions in the middle game. They're messing up what's weak. They're messing up what's big. The same as UQ, as a lot of UQ players do in your games, right? They are just making, the difference between them and you is they make better shapes while they make bad moves, right? While they make those bad decisions, they're making them with excellent shape. Excellent shape. That's the difference. Better shape, still a little bit slow. Still not defending weak, the weakest groups. Eventually they do. You know, eventually. Eventually, sure. A little bit late, a little bit too small. But you can see the differences.